MRI prostate molds, what are they and how do we use them in research? Hi, I'm Susan, this is Hayley and welcome back to Cancer Research Demystified. So as you just saw, we're going to be talking about MRI prostate molds. So this is a very unique project that both myself and Hayley have been a part of over the last few years. And it's one of those times that we get to do something a bit interdisciplinary. Working with people from a few different areas, trying to translate our work for people who aren't biologists and trying to understand physics things that are slightly over mm -hmm. our head. So why? Most projects start with a question that we don't know the answer to, and actually this one's based on quite a big question. MRI and other forms of imaging of your body are great, right? We can see all sorts of things these days, but we still don't know exactly what these images are showing us, especially on the, like, the molecular level when you zoom right in to all those little molecules. Yeah, I mean, you would think that since we're using MRI to diagnose cancer that we would know exactly what those images are showing us, but actually, surprisingly, we haven't been that able to compare those images to what we see down the microscope yet. <laughs> so one of the reasons that there's so many people involved in this project is that there's quite a lot of steps along the way. So when the patient first comes in, they get their diagnostic MRI, and that's the imaging that tells them that they do have prostate cancer. We actually look at some research around that. When the patient is then getting their prostate removed, if they need to, for prostate cancer, we do a little bit more research again. And that's where the 3D printing part comes in. So some of our collaborators that know how to do this, which I'll be honest, I don't, uh, use those MRI images to build a patient-specific 3D printed mould. And after their prostate is removed from surgery, it goes into this mould. This allows us to put this back into the MRI machine get a new image and even images on better MRI machines and then later compare that to the tissue down the microscope. So there's a lot of steps along the way. So these took a fair amount of designing and we're going to zoom in and you'll get to have a closer look at one of these. But there's some really special features in these. So they're made of a specific sort of material that will float and they've got lots of holes in. And that's because part of the process in getting this tissue ready for the microscope is you need to put it through these different chemical baths and these holes allow all that to happen. There's also a hole in which we insert a rubber tube that goes through the middle of the prostate, through the urethra, to hold it in place. Another feature of these is some of these little luggies, and they hold it still when we're trying to image it because they press against the side of the container we put it in. And the best bit, and the most important bit, are these lines and these dots. So the lines and the dots allow us, we can line up these dots exactly on the MRI image so we can find this exact point in the mould, not here, not here, not here, not here. And these slices are where we stick our blades. So that piece of tissue we're looking at mm -hmm. is exactly the same one as we see on the MRI. So we've already had a couple of publications out from the, the wider research group about this and hopefully a lot more to come, we, we cross our fingers. Uh, so firstly, paper number one, I'll have the title flash up on screen now. Apparatus for Histological Validation of In Vivo and Ex Vivo Magnetic Resonance Imaging of the Human Prostate. So just to explain some of those words, when we say the apparatus, we're actually talking about this 3D printed mould that Hayley just explained, as well as a 3D printed blade handle for and cutting the containers and everything all that was stuff. made from scratch yeah. by Roger. It's beautiful. 3D printing magic. Yeah. Quite cool. Uh, the in vivo part is talking about that MRI scan that the patient had before their yeah. surgery. In vivo just means still in your body. In the body. Ex vivo is the outside of the body, so that's that MRI scan that happened of the prostate in the apparatus. Um, and the human prostate, well, that's what's in here. Yeah, and MRI is magnetic resonance imaging. All the words. <sighs> so we'll show you some of the images from this paper. And as we said, this is quite a technical paper about the apparatus that was used, which was, for the most part, I think, arranged by Roger Boren, that make these amazing personalised moulds, because, again, each one of these is personalised to a specific patient's prostate. So the second paper to come out um, is by Colleen. She did a lot of this work, and it's coming up now. So it's called Verdict MRI Validation in Fresh and Fixed Prostate Specimens Using Patient-Specific Moulds for Histological and MR Alignment. So a lot of these words are the same. MR is just shorthand for MRI. It's magnetic resonance. Um, 
The most verdict is oh, yeah. the new, the fancy type of MRI that our amazing collaborators here have developed. So as well as just doing the normal imaging, these guys got an extra special new mathematical way of imaging that's meant to be more descriptive of the actual molecular biology underneath. Mm -hmm. um, so this paper is actually doing some of that registration we're talking about. So it's trying to compare those images that we traditionally look at and your pathologist will look at when they're diagnosing your cancer and the MRI images mm -hmm. and trying to align them and understand what's going on. So those are the two things that have been published um, and that's how we as scientists disseminate the research we've finished uh, but there's always a load of stuff ongoing yeah. so if we come up with anything else from this work and hopefully there's something well, coming. I know of one thing that she's been cooking involving some very beautiful staining under the microscope that I for one can't wait to see and when it comes out we will show you. Okay so any questions as normal in the comments below and thank you for watching.